ICP is an Indigenous cultural performer uh, and it's a new position stood up within the Navy Band. This is the first position of its kind where we get to include those elements of traditional Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander culture into a contemporary band setting. And I think the most exciting thing about it is the fact that each individual performer will get to bring their own elements uh, to, the, to the position. So uh, currently we have a Yiriki or didgeridoo player. Uh, in future it might be someone from the Torres Strait region or someone who is a, a language singer or performer. So the positions will actually change based on who, who they get to actually fill the roles. So that's pretty exciting. Uh, and I think the other exciting part is that it gives the Australian Navy band a chance to provide elements that are un uniquely Australian. So uh, when we go to other countries, we get to, to demonstrate that side of, of Australia and, and, and the culture that exists in this country. We developed two Indigenous cultural performer positions for the Royal Australian Navy Band. It was a capability that was missing and we're excited to explore and develop a new capability within the music of the Navy and also ceremonial. Being the first Indigenous cultural performer with the RAM Band is a big honour for me and also it's a great way that the fence is moving forward or closing the gap in its own, uh, own way. And also it's also opening up opportunities for young Indigenous Australians to come forward and be part of the Defence family. They get to create their input into the band. So each performance, the, the ICP actually is part of the, the whole performance and so figuring out how they will link into the, the rest of the band and what the rest of the band's playing. So yeah, they're not just like a, we play them at the start and you know, you just play the, the didgeridoo or the yiriki at the start. We actually, they, they'll get to talk with the band and they get to arrange each individual performance um, and, and how they're, they're, they're included in each piece of the band plays. So it's, it's pretty cool. It mattered to develop this new capability and it mattered to me to listen to people who know what they're talking about and in this particular instance that person is Abel Seaman Linton Robbins. What he brings is something that we can't do as non-Indigenous Australians. What I'm looking forward to most in the role is making new friends along the way and showcasing my heritage off to a wider Australia and abroad. The Royal Australian Navy is progressive, that the Royal Australian Navy is modern, it's diverse, it's inclusive and that Aboriginal and, Tor and Torres Strait Islander uh, traditions and customs matter. But we will then look to reshaping our Navy ceremonial policies that have been in place for over a hundred years and it's an exciting way to modernise Navy and to show how important Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander culture and customs matter to us.